Hey guys, Milwaukee's new M18 top off 175 watt power supply has a lot of cool features, including a rafter hook, USB and USB-C charging for faster charging. You have 175 watts coming out of the 120 fan to keep this guy cool, a few lights for warnings, a lot of great stuff. But we wanna check that the power coming out of here is clean and then show you what it'll do on a lot of different electronics. Stick with us. All right guys, out of the gate, the first thing I wanted to test was going to be voltage in Hertz. So I have this set up with a charger here. We have our Fluke. We'll turn the top off on. That will change our voltage. Perfect, 119. We look at Hertz, 61.12. Go back to voltage. We'll plug in a battery to our charger. We're charging. We get a little bit of change, but not much as it turns on and adapts. Look at Hertz, we're in the same boat. Awesome, as we remove this, no major voltage spikes, no major changes really to any of the power that's in or out. Out of all the power inverters that I've had that connect to batteries, this is by far my favorite. And I'm not sure if it's just the shape or how it works, but I feel very comfortable moving this guy around and taking it with me. The rafter hook is slick. You can put it on just about anything you'd like. The only thing you have to worry about is blocking this vent. And while there's a lot of room here, if you were to connect this up to something that did block it a little bit, you might hear this internal fan turn on and get hot. If it was to get too hot, it'll give you a warning and a temperature light here. Now to use this, it's very simple. If you want to turn on the USBs, you just push that button. That turns on your USB-C and your normal USB. Now these are variable. I'll put all the specs down in the description, but you can run both of these at the same time, including running your AC power. You just push that button. All three can be running without issue. It's very quiet. The fan inside is running most of the time, but you can see we have the inlet outlet there. Super simple to use. Very nice. So one of the first things I wanted to test out was going to be the USB power. And when I plugged in a standard USB outlet, I found it was 2.4 amps, which is, is pretty decent. If you have something that's a little more power hungry, it's gonna come with the new USB-C charging ports. That worked excellent. I was able to hook it up to one of our iPad Pros and it gladly accepted the charge, which is awesome because that tells me that it's going to be the right voltage for what it's looking for and those iPads can be somewhat finicky. That's great. Everything here is working good. The actual power on this unit is pretty amazing, but you're limited to 175 watts. So what is that? That is definitely nothing that will be heated. Anytime you have something that's heated like a coffee maker or, or even electric blanket, you're going to by far exceed 175 watts. But I was able to plug in a fan that was oscillating and not only run it on low, but kick it up to high and allow that thing to run. And this had zero issue running it. Now, I did hook it up to our sump pump just to say, hey, in an emergency situation, would we be able to pump? And there is absolutely no doubt that you will not. But I needed to trip this anyway, just to show what happens when it's unable to supply that power and you can see we got the triangle of death here per se. Everything else worked as expected. A TV turned on, no issue, no flicker in the TV, and you wouldn't want that at all if you're running TVs, laptops, or any other type of circuitry out of this. It was absolutely perfect. Run times on this are going to vary based on the TV you have and its wattage, the battery that you use, because you can use anything from the tiniest of tiny two amp hour batteries, or even 1.5s if you had them, all the way up to their 12 amp hour batteries. It doesn't matter. And it's not going to give you any more or less power. It's just going to give you more runtime. So the TV was great. Uh, I mean, just the amount of different things that you can plug in is immense. You can plug in laptops. It's just crazy that you can just continue to walk around the house and find things that are fairly light on power, plug them in and let them go. 
even our Christmas tree that we put up here on Thanksgiving was able to run off this without issue. And I had a five amp hour battery on the bottom. So I wanted to test that out and say, how long is it gonna run our Christmas tree? It did it for an hour and a half on a five amp hour battery. So that's something a little different that not everybody's gonna think about or use it for. But with that said, hour and a half on a Christmas tree, not too bad. I wanted to give you guys a little bit extra as far as information on watts, but my little watt o meter that I had plugged into this was not happy running off this for some reason, and it just kept tripping different things. So if it took up a little extra power and everything else was just right on that cutting edge, I'm not sure. But either way, I can't give you specific watts on what I was running, but it did work on a multitude of different things. Personally, this is my favorite inverter that connects to a small battery by far and there's multiple reasons why one i think we're at the right level of technology with the usb-c outlet i we've seen multiples that you can turn on the usbs you can turn on the inverter for 120 it, it all works i like the rafter hook i like the fact that we do have some fans on the inside and i like the feel it's got a little bit of rubber over mold in the back that works out quite well it fits on and it's perfect as far as fits and looks. And that could be the other part. If I was traveling around and wanted to hook up my laptop to it, it's not too big, it's not too small. Could you get something too small? I, I don't know, but either way, it fits and it works. Some of the other ones are quite large and in some cases quite noisy or the battery is a much higher voltage and it becomes a large package for such a small amount of power. This seems perfect to me for the amount of power in the size that you're carrying around. I don't feel like this is too much and the runtime is still right there. So quality, quality of power that I'm getting out, I'm, I'm good with that. It seems like it's just a nice quality built product. Now, TTI has built other models on different brand names. So this isn't their first go around. I like that. Seems like a lot of times we get these first go arounds or first out to market in certain power type situations like this. And they're not always perfect and they can cause trouble. So this is not, and that makes me a little bit more happy. All in all guys, this is worth the money. I know it's 99 bucks right now. It's not the least expensive thing around, but it's gonna allow you to carry around your power with you. If you're on the job site, you can have things close. If you're using it for personal use, camping, anything else, it's nice and small and it's very reliable. Again, works on any Milwaukee M18 battery. As always, appreciate your time with us. Please give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel, look for more information in the description. As always, we appreciate your time. Have a great day.